Keith, we're going into a big game against St Mirren and off the back of what was certainly a positive second half, do we go in with a little bit of encouragement to this one? Yeah, I think so. Listen, it's a disappointing result, uh, no doubt. It's always going to be a tough game going to Celtic. Um, but, you know, I think we'll be, we just look forward to tomorrow's game now. You know, this is a massive week for us. Uh, two home games followed by, you know, a derby, which is always a great occasion. Um, so, no, just looking forward to getting back out here tomorrow. Can't wait for the game. And, and we know it's a game that can, the, you know, really pushes on and, and hopefully pushes on to what is going to be a vital week. Yeah, you said it yourself, it can almost maybe determine how things pan out in terms of these next three games because we are in a bit of a spot where we could either start looking up the table or down it a little bit, aren't we? Yeah, absolutely. And, we, and we're just determined that we, get, we can get to a point in the break that we are looking up, you know, and it's going to be difficult, it's going to be tough. The other teams, will, I'm sure, will be thinking the exact same thing, but... Um, you know, we still feel confident. We've got a squad of players here that can, can, you know, hopefully cling onto that little group above us and and and, and just go away in the break with the, the noise, the fans, everyone that we're coming back to have an exciting second half of the season, and that's what this week could provide uh, starting tomorrow. As I said, a, a difficult test. You know, something I'm fighting for lives themselves. So. Um, but you know, I think at home here recently as well, we've, we've put on some, some some decent performances, and if we can get to the levels again, focus on that performance, then you know I, I, I'm sure the results will be there. Yeah, considering that we have one of the youngest squads and start 11s in the league at times, it shows that we probably have to manage game time. Alan Campbell being a bit of an example of that, isn't he? And we saw a bit of rotation midweek, and hopefully, how will that bear us going into this game against St. Man? Yeah, I think I think Alan's a good example. I mean, Alan never had a break in the summer, pretty much. You know, he just played football all the way through with the national team and uh, you know he's 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 a young lad everybody will know expends a lot of energy in every single game um, so you know not just Alan but the whole squad uh, and as a staff here football staff uh, you know physio sports science we need to assess the players every day because they all train at different intensities they all recover differently after games and it's up to us to, to manage that situation and we always knew December was going to be a tough month in terms of games um, so we had to manage them through every game and, and you know pick the, the, the combination that we, we felt was right for each game and that will that'll continue this week. Yeah, and can it also maybe give us a little bit of extra motivation when you kind of start to wind down the year with that break coming up to end it on that high as you, as you mentioned earlier? Yeah definitely you know it's, it's um, as I said this week could really shape what this season's going to be um, uh, you know that's a message that the players are well aware of that um, and you know I'm sure the performance will reflect that on Saturday just the, the, the importance of it um, you know delighted that the game's here in front of our own fans and, and you know hopefully just start off the week in, in the right manner um, as I said albeit against a tough opponent that'll be that'll be uh, working hard and looking for their own uh, you know for their own reasons to, to, to try and climb uh, from where they are so you know a big game um, but a good game a good game here and as I said our recent form here has been good so just can't wait for the game to start yeah, and of course added to the mix the, the news coming out that the manager will have his suspension to serve and there might be a lot of talk about the sort of effects that can have but I know that it doesn't change preparation does it so what, what can we expect from that yeah, I mean, listen. I mean, the first thing is we've we've had the experience of this already this season, you know. So we've managed that situation um, before. Um, you know, the reality is that 99% of our preparation is done before a match day. To be honest, you know, the players are well aware of what their jobs individually and as a team are. Uh, you know, before the match day, really, you're really just tweaking things from the side. And um, so, as I said, we've managed it before. We'll manage it again. Um, you know, would you prefer the manager to be there on the side? Absolutely. You know, he's a leader, and, and you want somebody. Uh, you know, everybody would prefer him to be there, but that's not the case. And we just need to manage that situation as best we can, and and we will do. Of course, you'll be in the dugout as you always are anyway, but and back here at Fir Park as well. That could make a big bearing on the game, being back here in front of our home support as well, couldn't it? Yeah, absolutely. You know, the fans have been great in the last few home games, um, as they always are. And, uh, you know, that's important. You know, we need to you know, make Fir Park uh, a place that other teams, uh, you know, don't want to come pretty much. They don't enjoy it. And I think the last few performances here have, have reflected that. So we want to carry that on. Two home games back to back in quick succession. And um, you know, I'm, as a coach, as, as the staff, everyone, we're, we're really looking forward to it. And I know the players are too. So, um, you know, really looking forward to the game. And of course, it's no rest for the boys over the Christmas period, is it? It's, it's all hands to the pump sort of thing, all work. Yeah, it is. You know, it's, it's such fine margins in these games. We can't afford to take the eye off the ball, no matter what time of the year it is. Uh, you know, you know, we'll all, uh, you know, spend time.